Good afternoon, Hampton Oaks Hawks. Um, just coming to you this evening with a uh, another vlog. Um, just a couple things I want to discuss this evening um, that I know that's been on a lot of people's minds is the um, the recent outbreak of the virus and and some people uh, I know the superintendent sent out a letter. Um, also, we sent that out with a uh, paper copy as well. Um, I know I've gotten several um, or seen some seen some questions um, in recent um, social media posts about uh, what are some things um, schools are doing and so on and so forth. So I just want to make some things clear what we are doing, what we're telling kids every day. Um, normally here at Hampton Oaks, regardless of what's going on, we discuss um, things like hygiene on a daily basis. Um, we do that on the afternoon announcements, uh, morning announcements, usually not both, but we try to find time to do that. Um, hand washing is very important. We have hand washing sta uh, stations outside all the restrooms um, here um, at Hampton Oaks, especially uh, um, enough uh, paper towels and, and soap and the dispensers. If we ever run out, we definitely call for the custodians to bring those so kids um, can make sure they have what they need. Um, so outside all the hallway restrooms, we have those things available for students. Um, we ask them to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds, if not longer. Um, we do little things so that the students can kind of count to themselves or remember how that amount of time. Uh, we, we make sure that students understand that the importance of that and also doing the best they can not to try, try to put their hands in their mouth or touch their face um, because those are areas that um, become exposed uh, to germs obviously and it's very difficult for students and even adults not to do that but we we typically do try to remind uh, students about that another question I get is about um, the custodial staff cleaning um, recently um, every teacher is given a bottle of green safe um, surface cleaner um, that's something additional um, in addition to the cleaning that the custodians do um, in the morning and in the evening. So teachers have spray bottles to spray their surface areas down to uh, support um, what the custodians are doing um, in the morning and afternoon and throughout the day. Uh, kindergarten and first grade classrooms, um, they have bathrooms in there classrooms along with sinks um, second through fifth um, do not have bathrooms in their classrooms but they do have sinks so we encourage hand washing in those areas um, as well uh, with the sanitizer um, students are allowed to bring sanitizer um, whether it be in their uh, lunch box uh, backpacks um, they can have those. Um, we do ask, as we have before, with anything, um, same thing as with food and things like that, that students do not share. We have a, a significant amount of allergies um, in the building, um, so any kind of cross-contamination with um, um, things that the students may be allergic to, um, that they share things in, uh, we have a lot of students that are allergic just by contact. So we ask students if they decide, their parents decide to let them bring hand sanitizers in the backpacks or in the lunch boxes they do not share with other students. Uh, so I know there's definitely been um, concerns with that, understandable. Um, I sent some information out on Twitter a while back um, I have sent some emails out as far as robocalls. Um, I know this uh, central office continues to um, make sure they send things out to folks. Uh, folks, as They send mass emails out as well to folks. Um, and as things change or situations change, they will continue to send those things out. 
Um, last week, they did send that out, um, again, uh, like I said earlier, by uh, robocall or slash email. I did print those off as in, in paper. I, I'm not typically going to always do that um, just because it's, sometimes if the email gets sent later in the day, it's, it's very difficult um, at the, like with five minutes left before dismissal, get 900 um, letters copied and get it out to teachers and get it out to each folder. So as with anything, um, make sure you're checking your email. Um, make sure that um, you uh, go on the county website. I would make it a good practice to do it at least once, uh, once a day to check things. Um, please, when we send out robocalls or robo emails, don't just delete. Um, I, I really do try to send out important information about um, what's going on in this school and so on and so forth. Um, a, as always, our, our priority here is to um, help kids be safe year round. Um, I know in Stafford County in years past, um, when I've been here when other things similar to this ha has happened uh, and um, we, we, we do our best to adjust um, and make sure that um, to the best of our ability that, that all kids are um, safe and that we're, we're um, doing the best to keep everyone um, from getting sick. With that said, um, I know it was very clear, and it's always been very clear, at least from this school, that if your child is sick, um, if your child throws up on the way to school, um, if your child has a high fever, um, it's very important that um, you understand the importance of keeping, keeping uh, your child home. Uh, I understand as a parent myself that um, there's a there's an inconvenience in those things and so on and so forth but it's very important that we um, as as a good community and neighbors we look out for each other um, so with that said um, I continue to field questions the best that I can give you the best answers that I have um, and I'll keep you up to date to the best of my ability. Um, we do have some events coming up, um, multicultural night and so on and so forth. So uh, please stay in tune for that. Uh, we hope we don't have any issues um, having that event, but um, I will keep everyone um, up to date on that as well. Uh, we look forward to a good week next week. Um, we are definitely um, really working hard with the students to um, have them work hard all the way to the end of break. Um, and we look forward, um, I think because of the, the outbreak and everything, I think hopefully um, break's coming at a good time this year and um, I just wish everybody a happy weekend. Hopefully you are all are safe and um, get some rest and relaxation and, and come in Monday ready to work. T thanks for taking time to listen. Again, I, this is just another avenue I have to send out information to families um, and I'll continue to do this. I'll continue to send robo emails. Um, I've gotten some feedback that folks like the robo emails. So other than that, have a great week.